So I'll be showing you how to add like very beautiful backgrounds, animated video backgrounds in Flutter. So we will be focusing on creating something like this. As you can see, it's very wonderful. Let me just restart the app so you can see the like level of uh, details in this background. Let's check it out. It's basically an uh, animation in the bottom. You can see that. Uh, it's taking time because an emulator and my storage is like pretty much full. So, so basically what we are going to achieve is something like this. Yeah, it's taking so much time. It's our own project, so you can see the animation pops up, everything like clouds and forest, and then it just goes on and on and on. So in this video, we'll be focusing on creating that in just like five to ten minutes, uh, and this is gonna be awesome. Uh, let's move. Let's get started. Right, simply. So I will remove all the things. So for now, I'm just creating a placeholder. Ignore other files and stuff because it's not gonna be in your case. For this, you will be required three things. Uh, first would be a bag of image of a cloud. Okay, so and images of a cloud. You can see here we have images of a cloud. That image. Just let me let me show you the, all the element ones. Okay, moving back. So first, you would require this image, cloud image. So this is image here. Yeah. Second, you will require this color, which is just a gradient I have drawn. So I will show you how to draw it too. And after that, you will require one animation, which is this. Uh, use the animation called. Just let me find this in so many animations. Yeah, I think someone over here. I will like uh, let you know. Like CDBG. So this is the animation we are using. You can download it from the Lotte JSON uh, website, and it will be pretty awesome to get that. Okay, so let's get started in this video. Uh, just firstly, I will change it to the placeholder. For searching the website, let me show you the load animation, load of files, we'll go to the load of files, get started for free, you have to log in into this. I have used like, they are my animation which I used recently. You can search any animation, you can search cloud, you can search forest, let's search forest. I don't have to search over here, I have to go to the main screen. Then we'll move forward with the forest. Forest. It's pretty laggy, right? So because of my battery is high. Okay. Don't worry about that. As you can see, we will go to the file stop going to list of animation. Alright. Okay, so I hit the button, so that's why it goes. So I just answered it, and I get the animation for forest. So any any animation I can use. So look at this. This is very wonderful animation. You can use it in apps, uh, silver screens, and so many. So just imagination is the key over here. Uh, you can use any animation like this to make something. The animation I showed you in the first place. So the animation we have used is a city background animation. You can find it also here. Okay. Yeah, this is also a cool animation you can do in like loading screens and other stuffs, right? This is good. This is also good for health recipes and feedback. There's like so much many things you can achieve using these animations and these are mostly free without this crown are all the free. Okay, so we have our animation. So if you like someone you can just go to the animation. As I like this one, I go to the animation click the animation and just you can download it from here you have to select the folder and then you can download the JSON you have to download the JSON to add it then add your JSON to the asset file and add the background to the asset file right so now it's time for the code we will go to the main file right let's create a class which is like stateless widget let's simple stateless widget background okay we have done this, take this widget, we have this, let's add this to the video. Okay, now it's time for our app scaffold to enter. Scaffold. Okay, so how can you achieve something like that? So for that you have to know, okay, as we have multiple layers, we have first our gradient, then we have our clouds, and then we have our animation. So to create something like that, we will use something which is called stack, right? It's pretty simple to know that. So, firstly, we want to create a gradient. 
right? So how can you create a gradient in Flutter? Which is like, we can just create a container, okay? And in the gradient part, you can just go give him a decoration, give the box decoration, and in the decoration you will select gradient. Right now it's giving error because it cannot be do this gradient and error, and it will have linear gradient as the option, and it requires strings like a list of colors. So for now, I'll just format the document, and I will just show you the colors I will be choosing. Let me find my color, right? That is important. So this is the both colors I'm using. This is a hex code of a color. I have my own compiler. So this is the hex code. You can use the exact hex code. And this is a one simple function or class uh, which is I like, created to like convert the hex code to the color property, right? You can copy it from here. Just load it. I will give you three seconds. You can either screenshot it or something like that. Okay, so you can see uh, it is like just has code. We can copy it from the internet and politely give it to this. And now we have our container with the gradient. As you can see, we have our gradient, but it is not like uh, the as we expected because it's from left to right. So we have to adjust the everything. So just we have to set this properties begin and stop first. So begin, we will key align. So we have to align top center and ends, we will align bottom center, bottom center. And you can see we have pretty much the clouds, right? It's pretty much cool, right? You can see the background I have created as a widget is also similar. And this is like pretty good, we can use it. So after that, we can see we have our clouds too. So we have to use our clouds for that just in our container we will after that add one more element which is uh, image and it is from assets so we'll just create from assets give the path to this with a bg.png and i think prints are pretty good to go we got our cloud there finally we have one more thing which is left and we want to add that too which is our loti animations for loti animation you will require a package which is OT 2.70 you can use the latest version and everything after you get that and after you get the JSON file you can come here add loot not this we dot assets similar to the image select the city underscore bg dot JSON and just put this right in this let's have it you can see we have our like stunning animation ready and after that as we know we have to align it so we'll just go align alignment bottom center and we are good to go so now it's pretty good right we got what we expected only thing left is the add content in the center so after doing everything you can come here you can create a column Right, and then children. After that, you will give the main exercise to size to small, minimum, cross axis, main axis alignment, make an axis alignment center, and put everything into the center. To give the like element to the center, right? Right, it's working. Then we will add our first thing, which is our text, and we will just say. How oh, YouTube? Add the heading. So this is my personal style, so it's not gonna hurt. You can see our hello YouTube in the center. Everything looks good. Add something too, uh, which is let's add some description below. For that, we just hey YouTube, how are things going for you? I hope everything is great and you are having the best day ever in this world. Right? Uh, also, give me more subs. I think like, you should go like, give me more subs after this, I think. Yeah. 
so for that you have to change this to Redmi. That is my styling. You don't have to copy this. As you can see, we have some issues like this with the new padding. So we'll just give it the padding. Let's give it to a hide box. So we have used the velocity package over here. Other than I think we have to give the padding to this too, which is around 36. I think produce the logo. Yeah, that looks good. Let's do it. Let's do it live. We don't want more subs. Yeah, one more thing. We have to align. Text align, text align. Center. Yeah. We don't need extra comma. And everything looks cool. After that, we can add our custom text field. We also have that to create the login field. Custom text field. It's a valid idea. This is just a package. I'm just giving you the demo of how you can implement the UI over here. Right? It's not necessary you have to do this. Let's create one text editing controller. Text equals to text controller. Remember the cost. Just make the code while text right we get the text editing controller again we hit the tool 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 to make the level size over here and finally we got a custom button we also have the custom button too continue oh, this is right there. This is the way I have created it with true. I think it's time done. It is pretty good, right? We can do that. You can either give them space, and it's pretty good. Done, 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 done. Let's submit it and everything. Yeah, so that's.